Hi, I'm Katrina. I know our drains lead to the wastewater treatment plant, but I got curious about the journey that they take to actually get there. I did some digging and this is what I found out. Most of Sudbury's drains work on a gravity system, which means water flows down to a central location. Of course, being Sudbury, there are many, many hills. This means that lift pumps are needed to raise the water over some of these hills so it can get where it needs to go. Unfortunately, these pumps can get clogged really easily with things that don't belong, like hair, pet fur, and dental floss. When this happens, it's someone's job to go in and unclog everything so that it can continue to work efficiently. That's not all. The pipes themselves are only so wide. So when we put things like fats, oils, and grease down the drain, they can get clogged really easily. Think about the pipes like an artery. They're designed to push fluid through them. So when we put too many solids down the drain, we risk creating a buildup around the edges. Additionally, when this buildup breaks off, it can cause larger blockages down the pipe, and this leads to major issues. There are other factors that can put pressure on the sanitary system as well. Rainwater, for example, can seep in the ground into the pipes through cracks, holes, or any root intrusions that form over time. This is especially important during the springtime and the big thaw. Sump pumps and roof leaders that connect directly to the sanitary system also cause strain on the system itself. This excess water actually dilutes the system, making it less efficient. It also makes them more prone to sewage backups or flooding at the wastewater treatment plant. This is why the city has bylaws in place to keep the systems running as efficiently as possible. So what can you do to help? Well, the first thing is double check the connections of your sump pump and those ease troughs. Avoid putting solids that don't belong down the drain. This includes things like hair, dental floss, fat, oil, and grease. Instead, put your inorganic items in the garbage and your organic items in the green bin or your home compost. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you liked this video and you learned something. If you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow Science North on all of our social media platforms. Bye everybody.